Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Christine speaking. Today is March 21st, 2020. I hope everybody's doing well. And so uh, I am here because I have a message to share with you, brothers and sisters. Uh, um, I have a message I received from the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the Holy Spirit has been asking me to come here and to share the message with you. And so uh, I received the message in two different dreams about a week ago. Um, and so I will go ahead and we share these two uh, uh, dreams with you, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, the first dream was very, very short. And myself did not believe that the dream was from the Lord Jesus Christ because of uh, the nature of the dream. But uh, two days later, I received another message, which uh, another dream, which was connected to the first dream. And so the first dream that I had in this dream, I saw Princess Diana sitting in front of me. And the Princess Diana looked very old. She was suffering a lot. She was alone and isolated. She, she was looking at me without saying anything. She was just miserable. And after a few minutes, the dream ended. And me, what I did, I rebooked uh, the dream because I thought it was an evil dream. I rebooked the dream in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, because for me, I couldn't believe that uh, I would see Princess Diana, who already died, and we know she died about almost 20 years ago. And so, I did not believe that uh, that dream was from God. And Two days later, I received another dream. And this time, again, it was Princess Diana, but she came with Prince William. Prince William was sitting on the left side, and Princess Diana was sitting on the right side. And even in though we know that Princess Diana is Prince William's mother, in this dream, I couldn't see any relationship as a mother and son between them because they 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 were different i would say they 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 were talking different language but this time Princess Diana was beautiful. She was young. Of course, she looked like a mother. Not too young, but this time she, she was beautiful. And uh,
After a few minutes, I saw uh, Prince William holding a wedding ring in his hand. And I saw him, I heard him explaining to Princess Diana how much the wedding ring was significant to him. I saw um, Prince William holding the wedding ring and uh, the wedding ring has three precious stones on it very, very rich stones. I saw the color of these three stones on the wedding ring. I have no words to explain how beautiful this wedding ring was. The wedding ring hearts uh, three stones on it with rich color. I can't explain it. It's beyond my 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 understanding. And I never seen. I have never seen a beautiful wedding ring like that. And uh, Prince William had this wedding ring in his hand and the way he was looking at the wedding ring was very, very serious and very, very meaningful. And she, he tried to explain to Princess Diana how much the wedding ring was important. But Princess Diana was hesitating. She was looking at him with uh, lots of hesitations. I could say, I could tell that she did not believe in the meaning of uh, the wedding ring. She did not care about what uh, Prince William was telling her. She was even laughing about what Prince William was telling her about the wedding ring, brothers and sisters. And suddenly, while I was listening, I hear the voice of the Holy Spirit saying this. The Holy Spirit said, the meaning of the three stones on the wedding ring means the bride of Christ is not only marrying Jesus Christ, the Son of God, she's also marrying God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Then the Holy Spirit stopped. Because when I healed the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit started talking, explaining, giving me the meaning 
of the three stones on the wedding ring, I was just questioning about the meaning of the three stones of the wedding ring that Prince William had in his hand. And that moment, I heard Holy Spirit's voice explaining, giving me the meaning of the three stones, beautiful stones on the wedding ring, brothers and sisters. So, the bride of Christ is going to wear this precious and beautiful wedding ring with three stones on it, which means the bride of Christ is marrying Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and she's also marrying God the Father and the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters. After I healed, after the Holy Spirit stopped talking, the dream ended. Wow. The dream ended, but I was rejoicing. My soul was rejoicing because of the wedding time of the Lamb of God that is about to be completed now. But when I woke up in the morning, I started seeking God in prayer and worship. I, I started seeking God for, first of all, the discernment and the confirmation. In more information about the dream and so I want to tell you a little bit about what the information I received from the Holy Spirit about this dream. So um, The presence of Princess Diana in these two dreams, the first dream, the Princess Diana was pretty much suffering. She was old, tired, isolated, and suffering a lot. She had no hope. In a second dream, she looked different. She looked young. She looked like the princess we know when she was alive. But she had lots of hesitations. She seemed not having faith in God.
she was even laughing about God's message. She did not take seriously the word from his son, Prince William, who was trying to explain to her how much the wedding ring was very significant for him. And so, the, the presence of Princess Diana represents the life of many in these last days. She represents the global system. Many have lost their faith. Many don't believe in God. Many don't believe in the wedding of the Lamb of God that is about to happen. Many are living their lives like they, they want. They listen to prophets. They listen to messengers of God, but they still don't believe in God. Commandments of God are not being respected by so many around the world. Globally, I'm talking. So, people, many these days don't care about what's going to happen, but it is very serious. The waiting time and the judgment of God are about to be completed, brothers and sisters. I know many prophets of God are warning people, people are listening, but don't change. Many are not ready. People are not seeking God. God is calling people around the world to repent seriously their sins they have committed against God, but many are not listening. And so, also many are rejecting the bride of Christ, brothers and sisters. Judgment is coming upon the earth. So, many are dealing with the faith. So, Diana, Princess Diana represents global system and faith condition, brothers and sisters. And the presence of Prince William represents the King of the Kings, Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, don't be quick to judge. 
this has nothing to do with Prince William that we know personally. God used his presence only to to express the presence of Jesus Christ with us and how serious the Lord Jesus Christ is with his bride and also how bad it is for many who don't believe in God these last days. And so, brothers and sisters, the bride of Christ is not only marrying the King, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. She is also marrying God the Father and the Holy Spirit. And they are all becoming the one. Bride of Christ, you are not only marrying Jesus Christ, the Son of God, you are also marrying God the Father and the Holy Spirit, and you are becoming the one with the Holy Trinity, Bride of Christ. This is very serious and so beautiful. So when I'm talking about marrying Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and also God the Father and the Holy Spirit. This has nothing to do with the carnal th uh, thoughts. It has nothing to do with sexuality issues. This is about the Holy relationship the bride of Christ is going to have with the holy the, the bride of Christ who is marrying the king of the kings Jesus Christ And so, she's having a holy relationship with God the Father and the Holy Spirit. This is why she's becoming the one with the Holy Trinity. And it does make sense. And brothers and sisters, this is not the first time that I heard the Holy Spirit telling me that the Bride of Christ is marrying the Holy Trinity. The Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, and also God the Father and the Holy Spirit and all become the one. And so, brothers and sisters, I just wanted to share this message with you because the Lord Jesus Christ asked me to share. And also, 
you know that um, the waiting time and uh, the judgment of God are about to be completed. We are living in the last days. And so, get ready because Jesus Christ is about to come for his bride and also to judge the earth. It is very serious, very serious, brothers and sisters. I would ask you, you who so much believe in God, you who have given your life to him, please think about our brothers and sisters who don't believe in God, those who self Satan and his demons and pray for them. Pray for souls to be saved. Your prayers are so much important. Your prayers are making difference. These last days, brothers and sisters, watch and pray. Pray Psalm 91, Psalm 91, and pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. These prayers as are very, very powerful. I had a dream on uh, Psalm 91. I hope I will get a chance to come out with a message on that. But Psalm 91 prayed, brothers and sisters, I pray it on you and on your brothers and sisters, and on whole nations. It is very, very powerful. And for those who pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet, remember that prayer was given to Saint Faustina by Jesus Christ. So the prayer is also very, very powerful. Don't ignore it. Pray it as much as you can. You might not see the difference, but soon to be, you will see how much your prayers saved the souls for God. God bless you and stay faithful. Thank you.